When running your business, you may have noticed that many of the emails that you receive every day from your customers or prospects are the same in terms of the way that you respond to their queries and concerns. It can be an incredibly time consuming process composing the same email over and over again. The solution to this that will save you a ton of time is email snippets. Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome back to this channel. I hope you're all having a productive day. Now in this brief tutorial, I'm excited to share how you can use the free integration called Cloud HQ to simply create email template snippets so that you can save a ton of time replying to emails and composing new emails. Okay, so before we dive into this email snippet tutorial, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that out of the way, let's go ahead and help you save time by leveraging free email template snippets for Gmail. Okay, so to use Gmail email snippets, you do need to be using a Chrome browser. And then to use and leverage free email snippets or templates within your Gmail account, we need to install the free Cloud HQ Chrome extension. So to do that, first we need to head over to our browser and type in chrome.google.com forward slash web store and that's going to take you here then simply navigate up to search extensions and type in gmail snippets then simply locate gmail snippets by cloud hq and click here then go ahead and click add to chrome select add extension then once you've arrived inside your gmail account simply come down and click create account Select the Google account that's associated with your Gmail that you want to use. You can either use a free Gmail or if you have a paid workspace account, then go ahead and select the Google account that's associated with the Gmail that you want to use. You can either use a free Gmail account or a paid Google workspace account. We're going to go ahead and use our free Gmail account for the purpose of today's tutorial. Then navigate up to the top right hand corner and locate this T plus symbol over here. Click here and that's going to generate all your Gmail snippet templates that you can use when composing emails. So over here what we can do is go ahead and add a new snippet or we can navigate down here and we can edit these default snippets. So for example, if we navigate down to this email snippet down here, let's say that I want to customize this email snippet. All I would do is click edit. And then if we navigate up to the top, this is the shortcut that we use to generate this snippet. Then we can navigate up here and change the name of this Gmail snippet. Thanks, but then in brackets, prospects. Then I'm going to navigate down to the content and I'm going to customize this content here. So for example, when a prospect, a potential lead reaches out to us in regards to our services, then rather than creating this email multiple times, which is usually an email like this that we send to all our new prospects, we can automatically insert this snippet. Thanks for getting in touch with us in regards to your exciting project. We will have a look at the details you have provided and get back to you within 24 hours. We're looking forward to working with you. Cheers. Now we also have a few replaceable variables down here that we can use. So for example, what we could do is copy this variable here and then I could navigate up to the top of my content and then paste that first name variable at the top of my content. And as you can see, I've pasted in the first name variable up here with hi next to it. So when I reply to an email, that's going to automatically generate the first name of the contact I'm replying to or sending a email to. I can also add a last name, name, email and day of week. And once you're happy with your Gmail snippet, simply come down and click save. Now you also have the option to go ahead and click add and create your own Gmail snippets. So think about the emails that you receive every day from your contacts, prospects, customers, or think about the emails that you compose every day that are very similar. Can you simply turn these into email templates? 
rather than wasting so much time composing the same email over and over again. So take your time to create those Gmail snippets. What I'm going to do is come down and click cancel and we're gonna go ahead and use this thanks Gmail snippet that we just edited and created. Simply navigate down to done and up here you can see an example of an inquiry email that we typically get from a new prospect inquiring about our services. So if I click on this email, and again, like I mentioned, this is just an example from our other email. What I can do is navigate down and click reply, and then simply navigate over to compose your new email, then simply click backslash, and you'll see some of these Gmail snippets. I'm gonna go ahead and start typing thanks, and as you can see, the email snippet that we just created is right here. What I'm gonna do is click it, and up here you can see the first name has automatically been generated. And just like that, rather than typing out the same email over and over again, you can just use these Gmail snippets. And what I can do is add another if I like, by simply clicking backslash again, and then coming down, and I wanna use this snippet here, backslash day. And that's gonna generate and have a fantastic with the variable which is the day. So as you can see within this email reply, this composed email, I've used two Gmail snippets, the thanks snippet and also the day snippet. Each of these Gmail snippets have one variable. The first is the first name up here, which was a variable, and then Monday down here again, which is another variable. And that's gonna add the dynamic content based on that variable information. So as you can see, it's as simple as that to create and customize Gmail snippet templates to save you time composing emails and replying to your contacts. We can also navigate down to the bottom next to send and click manage Gmail snippets. And we can browse our email snippets here, or we can create a Gmail snippet from this message. So if we click create from this message, as you can see, that's gonna add the content in here. And we can turn this into a snippet template. All we would do is change the shortcut, the name of the snippet, and then also customize the content the way that we like. So again, what I would do is come down and copy first name, and then paste that up here. And then what I would do is navigate down here and simply navigate down to day of week and copy this and paste that over here where it says Monday. And like I mentioned before, that's gonna automatically generate the first name of the contact I'm sending an email to or replying to. And it's also going to automatically generate the day of week. So I hope that makes sense. This is a brief tutorial helping you save time by simply using the free Chrome extension, Cloud HQ. And there we have it guys, that is it for this Gmail email snippet tutorial for beginners. Now if you have any questions about email snippets using Cloud HQ, make sure to pop those down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.